All right, so I have to officially, and I will make this quick, I have to officially force myself to take a break um, from YouTube, whether it's just this week or next week. And when this is a break to me, not editing this video will be a break to me. Trust me, this will save me like 10 hours of my week. Why do I need a break? Why do I not only need a break, why do I have to take a break? And I have to take a break now. And normally when you click on a YouTube channel or see a thumbnail or a title that's like, hey, I need a break. You're like, oh, YouTube burnout. It got him, it got him. It gets everybody, it gets every creator. Surprisingly, I don't have burnout from YouTube. It's not from editing from Phoenix Resale. It's not from editing from Retro Rick. It's not from doing my own thing. It's not from helping out others. No, it actually has nothing to do with that. I actually don't want to take a break. I am actually quite literally having to have to take a break. I don't have the ability because I can always uh, refresh my brain with things and create uh, new creative avenues if that was my reason, but that's not my reason. My reason, I can't physically create more time. That's something I can't do. And what I'm about to tell you, it sucks. And uh, it, it, it is forcing me to have to, I don't have enough time anymore. I will make this very brief and very short for you guys, the story. There's a backstory along with it. Long story short, my wife has been wanting a kitchen for a long time. She's been wanting a kitchen. We live in Orange County, California, and we have a very small little kitchen. Well, we did. And my goal was like, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna work my butt off. I'm gonna make sure that I can get my wife a kitchen of her dream. She's wanted one for so long. We live in California where space is limited and uh, space is like a million dollars per little square foot down here. So uh, we, we, we needed to, uh, to, to expand with what little room we did have in our small little home. I wanted to do it for my wife. Long story short, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling already because I'm very frustrated and this is very new information to me. So about, that was about six months ago, got the kitchen done, worked my butt off, earned a bunch of money, was so thankful, so, so blessed that I was able to do so and was provided a way to make money to do this for my wife. Uh, kitchen was done for about six months, things were great. I was happy, my wife was happy. I felt good that we could do this together as a family. You know, she pulled some shifts with what she was doing and we made it happen. About maybe a week and a half ago, she was in the kitchen and uh, I was actually by her and she's like, hey. Does that look like mold? And I was like, can't be mold. It can't be mold. We, 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 we just got the kitchen redone. I saw them take out the walls. I don't know anything about construction. I know you guys know that. I saw them take out the walls, saw them put in new pipes, do this and that. There's no way there could still be mold or if there was mold that it wouldn't be gone by now. Again, I don't know really anything. But I'm like, there's no way. But we do have my beautiful wife. We have me, I have my children. Of course, we want to just make sure, you know, just so we can check that off our mental checklist. Like obviously it's not mold, but click, you know, check it off the mental checklist. Called out the people. They did their things, they were smiling. Hee -hee -hee. They're like, okay, we'll go check it out when we get back. You know, I'll probably be fine, no worries. Everything looks new in here, looks beautiful. Thank you, thank you very much. And then all of a sudden they come back about a day later and they say it was mold. And with that, we're like, okay, can't be much. I mean, it should be like, you know, something where we can just like, you know, there's insurance and stuff. So it's not the, it's not the money that's gonna stress us out. Let me make that very clear. This isn't one of those videos where I'm like, we have a GoFundMe and a Kickstarter page down below to raise money for my, no, nothing. We're, we're good, we're taking, we're, we're great. That's not the concern. The concern is now time and ability to make sure that I'm putting my energy where it needs to go right now. And right now, I'm gonna have to put it towards the house and my family because, well, I always do. That's what we should always be doing no matter what. YouTube should always come far after, you know, our, our families and our friends and personal life. But with that said, when they told us this mold and they're like, hey, yeah, it's gonna be this and that and this and that, the money doesn't matter. That's not, that's not what I'm not worried about. What will matter is they're like, you gotta be out of your house in a couple days. And we're like, oh, shoot, we're, we're kind of not ready for this. Like, how intense is this? Like for a week, we just take like some things are like, no, a company will be out tomorrow to remove all your stuff from your house. And we're like, what now? Yeah, they're gonna take everything out. And it's like, they're, they're taking everything out. Like they're gonna, they're gonna remove it? Oh, so you're just gonna like take out the, the new kitchen that we just got redone? You're gonna like tear it all out? Uh, yeah, yeah, and the bathroom and your kid's bedroom. Oh, 
How long will this be? A month. Maybe two months, three months, four months. What? A month? Maybe like two months. But it's construction, you know, it could go three, four months. What now? Cool. So with that, as you can, as you might understand, and I am downplaying it now because when it all happened, we're like, mother, but I, I know I always have to check my, my, my balance life and go, I am provided a home. I work hard to have a place to live. I am not going to complain in life when I have, when there's so many blessings around me in abundance that it, it's not really worth complaining. We also have amazing friends uh, besides all my friends that you guys know from the show. One of them is Andy and Joanne, amazing, beautiful people. And they are literally letting us live with them for a month to whatever, how long it takes. I know that's a lot on their family to have anyone in, even though like we're all super, super, super singing close. So it's not like, and we hang out like every Friday of our lives. So it's not like awkwardness of any sort in any way, but it still is like, you feel like you're kind of in their space and all that. So with that said, I just don't have the time or I guess I, right? I guess if I was a worser person, so to say, I could be like, oh, I don't care, family. I'm going to uh, make sure that I get my YouTube stuff done and do this. It's like, no, I need to make sure that the YouTube stuff comes secondary to this because I want, I want my family to know that the father, their father, my wife's husband is stopping and taking care of what needs need to be done because I know from the wife, especially for my wife who, you know, she stays at home. She works a few days a week, but she's mostly a stay at home wife. She homeschools as well. Our children, God bless her soul. Uh, so I know how much this is going to play into her life right now with, you know, for me, I get to go to work and go do my thing and separate myself, so to say, from the madness. But I know for her that she's going to be, you know, trying to get things, you know, taken care of and situated at Joe and Andy's house with the kids and homeschooling and making sure that getting everything moved over there properly and making sure that everything's in a good function, in a good flow. You know, we also want to make sure that we're honoring Joe and Andy in this, that we're not taking advantage. It doesn't feel like, you know, I'm just like, hey, thanks for letting my family have a place to stay. Now I'm going to be off to work all day and never help you guys with anything. And I'm just going to kind of do my own thing. You know, I want to be present in that. And I think that is something super important, uh, even maybe a, a tip you would say, uh, for anybody who's a content creator or a YouTuber. Uh, I've made those mistakes in the past where I put YouTube things far above family, especially right now, right? And my brain, the, 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 the bad side of me is like, shoot, well, I mean, <laughs> The channel's been doing great lately, which by the way, stinking thank you guys. The channel has been doing fantastic lately. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying. And if anything, that could be a, a you know a little splinter in my side. Like, what? You sure you want to? You sure you want to put all the time into helping them with all their stuff right now too? I know they're the family, but the the YouTube stuff's been doing good. You don't want to mess with the algorithm. Yeah, maybe it will mess with the algorithm if I don't get it put out videos as much as I did for a month or so or whatever it is. But if I can get them out, I will. But if I know it's something where it's going to hinder the time that I'm putting into making sure my family and my kids and even my friends are feeling like I'm in this with them, I'm going to have to go. Sorry, YouTube, you come after. So that is the, the short version. How long was that? Eight minutes. That is a pretty short version. If you would have seen my initial reaction, it was like, oh, crap. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because my brain is quite literally thinking right now that I got to get moving because there's so much going on and the guys are coming here tomorrow morning to take all my stuff. Please don't steal my stuff, guys. I don't know if you're out, if you're watching, I hope you didn't steal any of my stuff. It's scary to leave your house with a bunch of people for like a month and a half. So this was just me venting. It probably sounded like I made no sense and I probably didn't make any sense, but uh, throw your, your thoughts at me and your prayers at our family uh, during this just because we're going to be in a uh, no flow and you know that's really hard especially if you guys you know you'd have kids or anything like that where people or even a family or even yourself however people thrive on on having like some sort of organization you know going on so when you get thrown from doing a things a certain way in a certain flow which i think is great it's great to adventure out too as well, but having things planned and organized can be very good. Uh, so when those things get thrown off, it can be very hard to um, to kind of like keep a, a good like mental state when you're like, my plan is normally this, but now it's kind of getting thrown off this way and that way and this way, and I think it's going good and then it's thrown away out of the way. So long story short, what did I accomplish in this video? Mold, I won't be here, it's gonna suck. Two, it could be 
a month at the greatest. It could be four months at the worst. Last thing, um, you might see videos from me weekly still, or you might not. I don't know. Again, if it comes in the way of, of honoring my family and all this and making sure I'm doing the right thing as the husband and the father, then, then YouTube goes bye-bye. If everything's going great and I have more, and maybe I'll have more time than I thought. Who knows? I just want to keep you guys updated because I never do videos like this. To me, it's always about hunt, 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 hunt which we still will be hunting <laughs> and filming. So there's a lot of videos to come like that, but that's it. I just wanted to, I wanted to, to get it out there to you guys. That's it. And uh, this feels weird just to talk to the camera like this. It's been a long time since I've done something like this. So I'm just gonna awkwardly walk off the camera backwards because you didn't see it coming. I don't wanna walk backwards. There's stuff over there, I'm not sure. Merry New Year's. <laughs>